let me take this opportunity to welcome everybody here and to thank all those who stood with us during this very painful journey as a cancer patient. I also want to thank citizen of the road media services because you know when we decided to take Winnie abroad for specialized treatment we didn't have much money as, as a family so Winnie told us don't worry about and mom our friends all over I'll make an appeal and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be assisted so Winnie prepared a video and she sent it out we were able to raise enough money to start treatment, so we do her to Turkey with the mother as a caregiver. And when they were in Turkey, a week after they arrived in Turkey, Lulu Hassan. Lulu Hassan is a very, very special person. She took advantage of her program, Shajara, and said she was going to use that program to make an appeal on our behalf. And indeed, Lulu, maybe you don't know. After that program, we were able to raise enough money for it to be treated and to pay rent in Turkey, to pay uh, for medicines, uh, thanks to Lulu's effort. So I just want to thank the entire world media because when uh, Winnie died, that morning, I called the daughter and told her, uh, Lulu, Winnie has left us. She said, what? I said, yeah, she has gone. She asked me, can I tell Rashid, her husband? I said, please tell him, because it's fine. She's gone, she's gone. There's nothing to hide. So when she told Rashid that uh, Winnie had died, and I think Rashid asked her to ask me, is it okay if they tell their boss? And I told him, yeah, there's no harm, it's already happened, so go ahead. And I can tell you those who were near the TV at that time, within half an hour, Winnie was already trending on Citizen TV. The whole world knew Winnie had passed. Thank you very much, Lulu, and the entire Citizen TV group. I also want to thank Winnie's friends all over, you, all over the place. When Winnie made her final appeal this second, second time around, people were sending in one shilling, two shillings, they call it Haba na Haba. Through that Haba na Haba, we are again able, plus what we had as a family, to take Winnie back to Turkey. But she was never to come back alive. Uh, her mother has already said much about Winnie, but Winnie was a very special person. I've never seen a human being so talented like Winnie. Winnie was a tailor. I didn't know that she was a uh, uh, make dresses. But when they formed that band, Jukwa, the band, they used to wear one uniform per day. So they'd come back, her, uh, Vicky, and Julie, come back at night from the, their gig, and we really had a sewing machine. So the whole night, you know, her bedroom was next to ours. We couldn't sleep because the machine was running. She was making dresses for the, all the three of them. When we leave to go to work, they are sleeping. When you come in the evening, they are going to work. They come back again, tomorrow they are going to wear another, another dress. The machine is again running. So I asked Winnie, where did you learn to make dresses? She said, don't worry, I went to school. So that's one talent Winnie had. Winnie was a furniture maker. Very few women, even if that they have that knowledge. We do what we need to do with our own hands. She would make very beautiful beds. The, be the bed on which I, I, I sleep in Mombasa was made for me by Winnie, using her own hands. The dining table that I use was made by Winnie, and many other things. When she came back from Turkey the, the first time, she told that her mother, uh, I've seen in a shop, it's very bare, it looks, it looks very disorganized, I'm going to arrange it. She told me she's going to make something called a floating, floating what? <laughs> floating shelves. <laughs> That's how she means floating shelves. She said that just, you just hang on, you see. And indeed, when we went to town, she bought a, 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 a drill 
and, and uh, an electric saw. And within two days, she had made some very, very beautiful shadows in the shop. Winnie was a cake maker, a baker. Uh, she would make very beautiful cakes. I'm going to miss my fruit cake. Because she told me that you don't need to eat uh, cakes made by, uh, with the sugar. I'll make one using a, a fruit, and it will taste exactly like the one mixed with sugar. That's another talent. Winnie was a musician. She has such a beautiful voice. And at times, I used to sing with them, because I liked singing also. And I enjoyed being in their company. Winnie was also an actress. You all, I don't have to belabor that point. You saw what she did in Sultana. But Sultana was just the tip of the iceberg. She had done many others before. That maybe that time she was not very well known. So I have lost a friend. I have lost a very, very dear friend, a confidant, a stickler to neatness, a stickler to cleanliness. Our house is all white. Sometimes you even fear to sit on the seat. So, Winnie was also a stickler to detail. She was never satisfied until she saw what she was doing had come out the way she wanted it. I've lost a financial advisor. Winnie was a director in our company, me and, and mom. It's called Broad Range Enterprises Limited. She was a director there. Actually, I was a, I was a minority. I'm the minority shareholder. But we and the mother have the previous shares. Um, and that company uh, it is involved in making, um, adding value to products like coca uh, cashew nuts, ground nuts, salesim, express in Mombasa. And it's doing very well thanks to Winnie's advice. Winnie pushed me to do things I could not do, but because she's a kid to me and she's advising me, I took her advice very seriously. And when I did that, I succeeded in whatever I was doing. Winnie, before she passed, she had told me that you are driving a very old car. How did you sell it and buy another one? I said, Winnie, if I sell this car, the, buy, the man will get to be able to buy a new car. I said, don't worry, then you hang on it a bit, let me make some money and buy a new car. So that was a big way we had struck. I missed that car. She, Winnie told me that you are struggling to, be, to build your house in Momias, but we are, we, are, we are property in Cleveland. Don't worry, I'm going to put, you put up a holiday home for you in, in Cliffy uh, so that you can be, when you retire, you can be alternating on some time you're in Momia, sometimes you are in Cliffy, in your old age. That was never to be also. But as a family, or as her parents, we have accepted God's will because we knew was suffering. As we lived in the same house, we knew what she went through. So, Initially, it was a big shock for us to lose a daughter because it was our hope that she would take care of us in her old age and that she would bury us. Now, it's going the other way around. So, because of Winnie's pain in her life, we have accepted God's will that she rests. And Winnie, my dear love, I'm going to miss you, but I, but I hope, as we believe, that we shall meet one more, uh, at one time in our lives. Thank you very much to all of you for coming over.